Let's go. Another beautiful series. Right, guys? Non-stop. This caster machine with now back the Mayans. Miguel with the Mongols. I mean, only watching the matchup, I don't know if you feel the same. I want your feedback in this regard. When you see these, these, these names, second, need four minutes. Sorry. You see why recorded games is good? We don't wait four minutes, you know? We don't wait four minutes, you know? Which is which is great, you know? But you know what I wanted to tell you is why why I think this is absolutely great. When, when you see Mayans versus Mayans, you feel okay, it can be a great a great one, but seriously, um isn't this the best like you see Mayans and Mongols? And he's much better, you know? He's much better. Mayans and, Mo and Mongols. Now, okay. Mayans one of the most beautiful civilizations, but the Mongols? I mean, no, sorry. I wanted to say Mayan one of the strongest civilizations, but the Mongols is beautiful, you know? It's true that they don't have great uh, great economy bonus, except the, the hunt. But that's it, man. Really, that's it. Anyway, let's see now what it's going to be. We have four villages on wood. We have now here the berries. As you can see, gold on the left, stone at the back, deuce at the back. Hmm. Yeah, this map that is a little bit slow because they are far. But remember, guys, that the longest game in the story of the of this game has been played in this map, right? <laughs> So let's see what Bagdi is going to do. But the most important is what Miguel is going to do here. Because Mayans are so, so disgusting, you know? So, so disgusting. Okay. What you say? Oh, today is the day of the woman. Fuck. Now I understand why my wife is angry with me. I didn't say anything about that to her. Disaster. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, what the hell, man? I, I, I. I love you. Well, don't think it's a note, but you know. And now three Melissa's coming, taking the wolf, buy some flowers. I cannot, man. I'm streaming, man. I'm streaming. Now it's late, man. It's, it's almost 8 p.m. I'm streaming. You, I stopped the stream to buy her, her flowers? No, man. I mean, no, man. It's, it's not an oath, man. I mean, I'm GG already anyway. Order online. I, I, I'm still streaming, man. I cannot order online. Flowers or sofa is your choice. I mean, do you know the problem? If I buy the flowers, I will be still in the sofa. So at least I save the money. Fuck this. <laughs> Invite her to the stream. We promise no Scarlet. She doesn't want to come to the stream, man. Seriously. Oh, oh. He's in feudal age already without the damn loom, guys. Miguel didn't make the loom. You better wall. I, 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 Miguel. <laughs> well, the village is destroyed. Without the Lumi, it's insta loss. One village down. And obviously, this is not what you want. Can you explain me why the hell would you go up to the next H without the loom? I don't get it. He's up to Feudal H. But guys, check Miguel resources. Over 400 wood, 500 food. Doing now the economy upgrades. And what is he planning to do? Okay. And two Lambert camps in this spot. This is why it's very bad in this map to make two Lambert camps in the same spot. Because you get attacked with, with like this and you can't do anything. And now what? 
He's gonna go farmers. He's not doing army. He's going economy. While his opponent is up very quick as well. RT range. Remember that this is deep water league. That means you start with nine bellies, so everything is going super quick. And now mana time upgrade. Oh my goodness. And then explain me why he's still booming without army. He really believes that Bacti is going for a fast castle. I don't get it, man. It's not mining goal. What is he planning now? RT range finally? Okay. The RT range is in a is in a dangerous spot. In a dangerous spot when when you see that the units are close, are surrounding your opponent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do you see why this is about RT range? Aye, aye, aye. Palisade, man. House. Pa something! It's incredible. This is what... I mean, I love this game exactly because yesterday we saw a, a few series. One of the series was Miguel playing insane. You know? And... Uh, or it was all the day. Well, I don't remember. Not so long ago, we saw a series with Miguel playing insane. But then now, we see how Miguel is playing right now, which makes no sense to me. Like, he's walling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's walling. And now another house, right? Yeah. Put Villains on the TC. Maybe it's in the range. I don't know. Maybe not. It's not going to be house or ever. And now Fletching. So, he has arches at home. Normally order, and now he's doing one archer. So, even if he's doing the archer, and these villains are completely stuck, because even if he's not losing, the villains are not working properly. He has good food, yes, because he's not doing any army. Okay. But I was talking about this, that the problem with these players is not that they are not good. Definitely, they are great. It's the consistency, you know? The damn consistency that they can play incredible seas and then the next day they played something like what is the same player? Now he's gonna lose that villager probably. Delete that. No, it's not deleting. Now it's disaster, man. And all the villager down is incredible. It's really incredible. The the brutal damage he has done with so so little, with three men at arms, he's killing a 2.4k player. Bakti is just destroying with three men at arms. Incredible. Really, really incredible. And now the flitch, the arches are coming into the goal. This game is absolutely over, guys. Yeah. Now he will call it. Destruction, guys. Total destruction. I like a lot to see those games because you can see how important is the opening. And if you surprise your opponent, if you surprise your opponent, even... 2.4k players can die. Seriously. It was super greedy. Two Lumberkans here is a disaster. In my opinion, it's very nice to explore. And when you explore, make a Lumberkam here that you can also wall around and this is a big forest or even here. I mean, if it's farther, you know, but you have a wood working properly. The efficiency was very bad and the resources, it was low, you know. 5-3, um, but economy... Back to got already 700 resources more. And he didn't do army at all. It's a pity. It's a pity because it, it was potentially a great matchup. And Mayans won just with three militias. Transition to meta times, game over. Game number two. Okay, guys. This is the only map that I really feel okay with it. And when there is water. Baltic is an okay map in general. Because the players usually... Don't get all this tower on the water and we see action. And multitasking is really, really required here, you know? It's still not the best map ever, but it's okay. And with the different civilizations, even better. Japanese and Italians in the house. Back to with Italians. And Miguel with Japanese. In this one, I mean, I mean if Italians is nice, I think back to... Uh, Japanese can be very nice as well really really nice you know remember that we start with nine villages so we will have the transition to feudal very very quick we have four villages on wood already and then then taking the board and seven villages it's it's the good thing with the system it's exactly the same build order and now the dog 
being built super quick. Super, super quick. Nice. Very nice. He's gonna push me now the years. Yes, I think he will. Okay. This map is oasis without the trees. <laughs> well, more or less, instead of the trees, is water, right? So the meta changed completely. Completely. Completely changed. Okay. Back to win with... Man yeah, that's what happened in the previous game. Absolutely. I thought that you were talking that now he's going to win with uh, Meta Times as well or something. No, no, no. Definitely no, no, no. No, 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 amigos. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Okay, he has five villages on wood. Okay. And it's, it's gonna go up. This is, this is how smooth it is, man. I really like this system, man. This time, look at the uptime. In four minutes, they are in Feudal Age. Empire Wars, it was, in my opinion, a little bit stressful to watch and to play. Because instantly you are attacking and sending army. And then it, 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 it make lose the feeling of, of the Dark Age, of the AoE. But with this system, it's completely different. Because you can analyze the, the, the map. You can analyze completely everything and then you still have your build order with two lumber camps you know now the four release three four release on goal go for the dogs and then you are going to be up in in what in six minutes which is nice which is really nice you know well you can't scout the enemy in time like if people is scouting the enemy with the other the other way you can't scout he's here man do the play is not because he's it's slow and it's, it's, it's luring, you know? You can scout your opponent, for sure you can. And in this in this map, they are going up even faster because it's Italian's cheaper one, and then you get also the fishing ships extra, so... You get even faster than in normal maps, you know? There's many times that the players are going up to Feudal Age and they are just pushing deers and never explore. So this is a, a, a good... A good way that you think about do do the things quick because the the opponent is coming, you know. And many many games people don't explore each other anymore. Like they are pushing the ears, being relaxed, taking the economy, not even exploring, doing anything. Come on, man. Yes, we we have to improve, man. If you don't push on a hybrid map, is really bad. Maybe. But if you are a good player, you have time to push and to explore. Anyway, I'm okay to to, del to delete hybrid maps too, you know? Okay. Okay, and let's see now. Is he gonna take the fire galley or not? Yeah, two fire galleys, man. Bhakti. Being extremely fast, and now he's doing the galleys, not fire galleys. Okay, he's trying to wait to have four. He's gonna lose the fish. Remember that Japanese are tanky, but if they are shooting all the time, is a problem, you know. Miguel has been housed forever. No, he can't be housed a lot because he has been idle TC nine seconds, so he can't be housed that long. It will be idle TC as well. Okay, he's gonna have now four galleys, and even if he's losing the fish now, he's gonna take the fish from his opponent, and then then he's fine. Oh, but he can't see it, man. That's the problem, man. Aye, 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 aye. Fletching. Okay, and now where's the galleys? Here they are. We'll make another two galleys, and then the demo. Two dogs. Three dogs for blue. But go, man. He's trying to wall like crazy. Yes. What? 
And now he's doing the Barak here. What a great surprise. Make the Barak at home. What the fuck? Anyway, more galleys. And now he can micro. Now he has good amount of galleys. Let's see, because Miguel has been always very good too on water. Got it. And now hit him back. But move that one. Move that galley at the back. The one that is low HP. Oh, come on. Do it. Yeah, and I like it. He did it. He did it. He micro properly. Nice. And then now he's taking the galleys. Hit them back. Perfect. Not perfect. <laughs> but nice. And the demo is coming. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, good shot. Now I need to kill. It's still not easy. Yeah, it's difficult, man. You have to be really fast to do this, you know? Hit back, hit back, hit back really fast. Okay. Nine village nomad will be nice. Hmm. Okay. Okay, you can see the walls. Wall in absolutely everything. And red deleted because he lost the villager? Unbelievable. Now he's gonna make the... What is he doing, Miguel? Is he really gonna take that deer with seven villagers? Holy and moly. But guys, at the end, Miguel, that has been now one many title TC, is taking the fish as well. Okay. Four villages on goal only. And idle TC all the time. All right. Well, not all the time, but one minute, 14 seconds. That's why he's already four villages behind. And that's, uh, well, quite a lot. He lost the fish as well. So, 30 villages, 31, 34. That's crazy. That's really crazy. And he lost the villages forward. That's why he is... Three villages exactly, because you need 25 seconds to, to make a village. He has got idle 125, so that's that's it, man. Yeah? Yeah, this course seems to be GG, man. And I wanted to play Race Forest later tonight, so when we finish the castings, at least that I'm gonna be able to get um, the Dragon Star vs. Fire. I don't know if I have a way to get those recorded games that happened yesterday from the wall rumble i don't know if the one of the of the hosts are uh, one of the admins are in my channel now i would love to cast those after this series if not i will have to go play one by one guys so you will see a real pro playing uh well marino be my guest amigo dragon star versus fire last night dragon star versus fire three games has to be you're not gonna get the spoiler because it's three games no matter what cast viewers oof oof but uh, for casting viewers it's almost better to cast the ai man like seriously <laughs> okay be careful there uh oh okay is one in or not hola mr doom is how you doing guys be careful there. Yeah, but the resources are great for red. Yes, but Bhakti is already up. Same village now. The water at the end belongs to him. Yes, but he is still not up. The arches are coming. Now he has arches. Oh, that was good. That was really good. That was really good by Miguel. I like it. And now he's up. Go up, please. It's on the way to Castleage. One minute is slower. So he's fine. And now we have some some arches there. I wonder, I wonder, Marino. Oh, can't find them on every two wrecks. Okay. And I wonder how you how you are going to send me if this card is not working. Anyway, this this is the infinite. Oh, transport ship. Okay, A demo. No, I can give the email, but, you know. Taking another, and another one. Well, the game is still close, and I really like it what he's going to do. He's going to go for a demo, send the damn archers, four or five archers with the demo. He is going to be amazing. Let's see if he can see the goal. He can. So, send the damn archers. Send, please, four archers and one Valir. Go, but send one Valir, no? Okay, horse collar. 
his wall and now time to land let's go baby what the fuck the arches man send the damn arches well he's afraid it's a fr but, but look at this man if he got the arches already there well it's true that he has two schemes and one archer but if he was sending the damn transport already he will deny that goal that is what where he's going go to the goal well it's true that the fire galleys are there okay it's okay it's it's a problem but he was a slow if you ask me he was a slow he has seven bullets on food now he bought his own food to make the war galley hybrid this is not good this is really not good, but please, it's going. Those are going to be Krobos and Botkin, but yes, skirmishers. And even if he's gonna see it, he should be just fine. Crossbow down, and now the skirm. Kill it, yes. But he's on the wood. That's always annoying. He's trying to hit a back. Hit a back. He has War Galeabred now, but not gonna help a lot. Scores say that Miguel is ahead. I'm not so sure, to be honest. He has two TCs, and he's going to lose now the water. So that means he will lose the galleys here, and he might be able now to fish a guy in blue. And this is not what you want. He got a second tone center, and if he's eating the TC, he's going to be in problems. Well, he's not doing any damage. He's eating the tone center. Four farmers, and not looking good. The score now drop, and back the has the game under control right now with three tcs amazing three tcs those arches are annoying yes do do they are a threat for back team no he has also a scorpion that's amazing man three skirmishes and one scorpion complete domination man super super easily counter all right amazing One, two tone centers, and... Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but the, the economy for back is amazing. Just look. 21 farmers. I don't know if all these farmers... Well, he has two fishing ships, so 18. But look at this. It's great. It's great. And that food is... Well, yeah, well eight only. Horse collar, bozo. No horse collar, but... No bozo either for... For Miguel. Still trying to go. He needs some more fire galleys. Okay. Uh, having fishing ships are great for being in Japan. But you need to kill those. And oh my goodness. Bam. That was a demo, man. A real demo with taking three galleys. Holy moly. And now he's taking two. No, he can't. But the other one was just on point. Vili is for Vakti. 63 already. What the hell? The game is over, guys. Like... He's having a great domination here. It's true that the water is not 100% yet for himself. But he's getting there, man. He's definitely getting there. There's a demo! Whoa! Okay. Yeah, that's good. He avoided the demo and then he take also some damage from the other. I like that. I like that. Oh, 1 HP. What the hell? Oh, he take more. <laughs> it's coin, man. It's 1 HP. No, 2 HP. Sorry. Almost the same. Disaster. Anyway, guys. Bakti. He's playing so, so smooth, those two games. Really, really smooth. I mean, Bakti has problems. He, he's getting attack. But if he get the initiative, he was a beast. Remember that when I was talking the other day with Jordan in the Doubt versus Tatot? Or Tatot versus Doubt, whatever. Best of 21. I was telling how good and how dangerous was back the back in the days, you know? Really. It's crazy, man. Yeah, really crazy. No, 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 Miguel really can't do too much. Another big one. Don't shoot there. No, 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 but he's gonna go there. Look, look, look. That's beautiful. It's taking a lot of damage. Oh, but the two demos are gonna dominate there. Nice. Okay. He's he's not completely with, with the control. But uh, obviously he's ahead. There's another demo here. Ooh. Yeah, the demos. Two demos from behind. But he cannot see them. 
Oh, he can actually. Yeah, go there. Yeah, he split then. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness, seriously. He took the transport. I don't think that the transport was that important. Now he's sending more galleys, but the problem here is clear. Even if the numbers are not so big difference here, Bakhti is still slightly ahead, and the most important is the village numbers. 61-83. With 3 TCs, he's still booming like crazy. Oh, okay, taking few villages. And he do not notice? Seems like not. Both kill each other 6-6 six, six villages. Echo KD, the same. But... What a villain. He's a scorpion. He's completely fine. Didn't go even for the archers. Italians also cheaper. To go up to Imperial Age, he has the game under full control. Not over because population is not that. I mean, yeah, nah, it's look at the resources. It's just sick. Sick economy, man. To go up to Imperial. And now, go, go, go. Oh, Italians? In this mode, you don't have discount or what? I don't know. Did you see those resources and the barring capture age? I'm not sure. That was weird. Yeah. Then back to married. I'm married in 2017 and I cast even more. And I have two kids. And that's why I sleep in the sofa. <laughs> okay. Thank you for giving me an explanation to a problem that I didn't know, man. Yeah. I agree, man. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nightlife AOC. I agree. Casting doesn't require time. Yeah. Doesn't require time. I, I, I know. I really know that it doesn't require time. It's you close your eyes and put your hands and it's not working. And when you have to prepare all the tournaments and uh, upload on YouTube all the stuff and all the things, they don't require anything. I, I know. I know. Is una partida profesional? Yes, it is. Si lo es. They are pros. Very strong. Back to plus Mr. Yo Dream Team. What do you mean? 20 villages difference. Okay. Well, what I don't know is if Back to and these players from Vietnam, they are also working in other jobs. That's something that I don't know. Or they are just dedicated to the games because they are usually uh, online all the time. That's I don't have that information. I believe that they have also the jobs, but I'm not sure, you know. Okay. One, two, three dogs. Has to be careful. GG, man. Like back to domination. Back to domination. I honestly think that the problem is not that he got married or he got the kid. I think the problem is that back to and some players got more uh, problems to adapt to the new DE. The new DE is different. Like, it's not like the, cha the, the game changed, the mechanics is, is pretty much the same, it's very similar, but there's a lot of m new things also that make the games easier that some players didn't really get along with them and they didn't adapt it some are not even using hotcase or new hotcase you know you can see then when when you watch the streams and i have noticed so it's complicated topic you know and 25 villages you know oh boy also new civilizations new stuff some people uh, doesn't uh, adapt that well and others do better that's it guys game number three Game number three with the pros. And this matchup, I like it. The map, a map that you don't know what the players are going to do ever. And we have Britons for Miguel, back to Portuguese. In a map like this, which civilization is better? What do you prefer here? Portuguese with the goal all in the middle in this map, okay? Or Britons with the crazy range? If they go for for water, Portuguese might be a little bit stronger with the galleys, but I still probably prefer Britons here, you know? Why Portuguese better? 
Why? I'm coming to the salt of the spam, man. This week, El Sol, the sun, Strider. Today and yesterday, raining in my city. Just to let you know. <laughs> it's very bad weather in the south at the moment, but well, enjoy. <laughs> okay. Elite Organgan is very good against Britons. Well, you are going already for Castle you know. For Castle Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Anyway, five elites on wood. And now doing the Barak. I love it, man. Two minutes and we have already the Barak to go with the damn militias. Okay. Is he going to mine gold? If he's not mining gold, it's going to be two, two militias only. And I like this a lot because now it's not gonna let him fish, you know? Miguel not gonna let him fish. Oh, this is very bad. I mean, the buffaloes, the sheep, you get Britain's bonus, and that's amazing. Five of on wood, okay, he has a explorer, so he's thinking, ah, he's coming with a dog too. But it's not, it's not happening. It's not really happening now. He's gonna take the other rhino. And the malicious. Malicious coin. Minus 60 money. Oof. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. Okay, the two malicious are coming. Now the fish is gonna be useless. That's really great. But back the. With this food, it will go up. Oh my god. This is just... A, this is very smooth. There you go. This is very, very smooth. It's going up 20... 19 villages. One village less. He has two militias, but... He also has a couple of fishing ships. And now Miguel... It's swollen like a boss. Walling like crazy. Miguel... Need to find the dog, and he's gonna find it now. He's in few village in a moment. He's finding it or not? Yes, he's here. So, time to kill the fish. It's not gonna be 100% possible, because if he play, probably you can put in the middle in the lake, and then he cannot take it. As you can see, will be a little bit far, but what is he planning with that Valir? I don't know. And the uh, are you kidding me? Is he going to wall? I mean, he's walling all the map. But he's still open. The deers are there. And this area is also open. If he come with the fish, he can't come with the fish. That's so annoying, guys. That's really annoying. But he's doing a second dog. So, back is going for the dog approach. Miguel is going for the land approach. And if he's doing more villages, he's going directly for the fast castle. Which is makes sense. I would make a milk here with that one. It's far. And now, no, no, no. No, 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 the militia is there. Oh, that's very good. He's gonna take it. No. Oh, oh my goodness. Escape. Escape with three HP. You kidding me, man? Okay. Well, then he's saving that fishing ship. And now the scout is gonna be in danger. Yeah. Fire galley. Fire galley. So he's gonna save it. He will save it. I believe. I believe I can fly. When the sky. Okay. I mess up. I don't know what I wanted to sing. <laughs> Fuck. Disaster, man. Disaster. One, two dogs. Okay. What a voice. Well, after casting 10 hours every day, what voice you want? And know that I can still... Th that can I keep talking? Anyway, one, two Lambert camps. How many Lambert camps? 10. Perfect. Not... This is many. 15. Too many. But he has over 500 food. Um, he should take those deers, probably. It's, what? I don't get it. Why you don't use those five elites to make a lumber camp and just keep taking the deers? Now, it's just moving so much. Like a lot of idle time. Like, make no sense to me. 
So the, the, the hunters put on the larvae cam, and those here just go to the hunt. Instead, keep with the deers, and those five make a larvae cam here. What the fuck? Anyway, it is what it is. A resource is really good. Why he's walling like this? I don't know, guys. Why he didn't wall diagonal? And then you avoid that he's gonna raid you. Market and Blasmith. Market and Blasmith. Okay. What is he planning to do? He's gonna boom? Boom, 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 boom. Maybe. We'll see. Market and Blasmith. I will definitely go for RT range with Pritons. But he's not doing yet. But maybe he's doing the market just to balance the economy. And then he will add the RT range. Obviously, he's 175 wood you are getting. You are using, so it's difficult. And he's up, as you can see. He balanced the economy. And now? And now what? No army, no RT range. Doing a spear rush. I like it. Taking the food. You can see how far is the food now. He's going to do what? Maybe dogs? Maybe he's gonna go a sneaky dog? Because he, he knows that his opponent is gonna be fishing? We will see. I think he's using the spears right now. Yes. Exactly. Fast castle and now war galley upgrades. Okay. I like that. But if he's doing more and more galleys, which is not the case, he's gonna have problems. Let's see blue. Gonna see the dog? No. He didn't. And he still didn't go. Oh my goodness. Even if this core now say that back is ahead, Miguel being in Castle can be a big problem. A really big problem. Second dog. That's good, man. That's a good strategy, honestly, for Miguel. He's a good strategy for sure. He's doing the market now. Okay. He's doing fire galleys. He will do the galley upgrade for sure. And then he should take the water. And behind that, what is he planning to do? He's gonna boom, I believe. Yeah, uh, Bacti is not up yet. He's doing the market so he might buy the resources to go up. But this castle this time is very, very solid. I know it's, the, it's a deep water league format. But still, 13 minutes. It's solid. Very strong. Okay. And now, War Galley upgrade. For those two galleys, Blue is now finally going to explore. He's thinking, oh, where's him? And back is on the way to Castle Age. He only got two galleys, so it's time to attack. He's gonna go or not? Man, he's he saw you, man. So attack already. But man, wait a little, man. Well, it's fine. War Galley upgrade, so all good. He's doing more galleys? Yes, he is. But they are... What? Whoa, 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 whoa! Why he's not following, man? Aye, aye, aye. What happened, man? Why he's not following the galley? I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, doing another dog. He's now trying to go. He did another TC. Did he take with the with the galley? He, he, did he destroy the barrack? It seems he did, right? And now, need to kill this. That's the good thing being in Castle Age. The upgrades, man. The upgrades just dominate. Now, need to go back. Stop killing houses, man. I, I'm getting stressed, guys. Why he's killing houses? Can you tell me? I don't know. Because he just patrol and then he didn't notice and then he's attacking the house. Okay, that's the problem. That can't happen, to be honest. You click here, but you are clicking with patrolling because you usually... Okay, forget and patrol. And then when you find an enemy or any enemy uh, building or unit, you just attack. So you have to click without patrol, probably. The problem is that it's tricky. You click without patrol, you find the galleys, and then you don't kill. And then they kill you. It's complex. Complex. Problem? Well, he's housed Miguel. He's doing a second TC. He did a second TC. Look at the outpost. And he has five galleys. Well, his opponent has two demos and three galleys that are going to be war galley average. So, he should be okay. He's repairing also. Oof. And, well, you don't want to lose a fish. But he has only three now. He got five before, so he took already... No, six. Three villages he killed. Three. He did wheelbarrow now. And, as you can see, two tone centers and booming. <coughs> I'm sorry. But he's doing skirmishes. And Bhakti is thinking that his opponent is going to do army. But the, the real truth is that Blue... Sorry, Dread is not doing anything else than the water. Oh my god, that... 
that demo. And now you need to go back. After that demo shot. Yeah, it's so difficult, man. Horse collar, bozo. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Like, seriously. He took almost everything. He took few galleys, two villages. Those demos are used amazing. There's no fish, so he's not really getting any reward at all. And the economy for red is just bad. Why? Because he has two TCs, seven farmers, seven on gold, 700 wood. Please farm. Thank you. He's doing a lot of farms now. Okay. Gonna take... Oh, my... Another one. Another villager and another one. Oh, my God. And another one. And another one. Damn. All right, he's walling here, two TCs. But his economy seems to be a little bit more solid. It's true that now he has idle TC, okay. Another tone center, but he still have the fish. That's a problem. I mean, when someone commit that much on water and your opponent still have the fish, mm, something is not working as intended. Still house it again, three TCs, and hope so. I really hope, because the map is so big. We have seen in this map some crazy games, honestly. And uh, I really hope they will go for, 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 for land units. Like, seeing Lombos here with Britons is amazing. Really, really amazing. I love those. I mean, the 12 range they get is insane. Let's see if we're going to have some luck. But a monastery in the middle and monks will be great. They don't have range. Oh, oh. Kill it. Oh, he blocked himself. <laughs> okay. Now nah, he kill. He's gonna kill it. He's 1 HP, man. Got it. Got it. 2, 4, 6. Also another demo. Another demo as well. That demo can kill now. He's gonna kill another. Okay. Well, he take the demo. He took the demo, but he's coming with another. Blue can dominate now. Look in the middle. Ah. Oh. I think he was too greedy. Okay. He killed more. Nah, but Bacti is just destroying, guys. What the hell? Bacti is eating his opponent, at least on water. He's still on three TCs, okay. But he has all the... Not water, shallows, right? Or, or mangrove. Mangrove terrain. Yes, that mangrove. Um... Okay, more villages on stone. Seven already, nine already as well. We'll borrow, I don't know, farmers? Not many, actually. But he seems to be okay with the economy. We'll borrow, horse collar. He got will borrow already, so Miguel is fine in terms of economy. Oh, good shot there. Good one, good demo. Another dog. The skirmishes that are at the bottom, not even fletching. He's not doing the odd pose. Okay. Coleman and Arbret fletching, but we still don't see any Barak, man. Well, he, he did the bar, but he deleted, so... Deleted, lost it, but... Yeah, only going for the galleys, man. The galleys are too powerful. Oh, got it. Why he used it, that demo? Well, it was a waste, but still. Doing more galleys, more and more galleys, more dogs, more galleys, more dogs, more galleys. And this is what he's doing now, Bacti, I love it. I mean, this is what you have to do. Like, the galleys at some point will still be useless. You make a castle here in the middle, you protect the fish, but the organ guns just kill everything. Literally everything, okay? And this is with 10 villages, not bad. 10 villages with the domination. Okay, it's not extremely forward, but it's enough to have a position there where you can make some organ guns, try to go aggressive in his land, and also probably with Botkin. Well, he has not even fletching. What the hell? He could take. Oh, oh, go, 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 go! No, 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 no! Fuck! Ah, uh, what? Oh, it's another. It's another man. What? I mean, you, you should. I mean, kill it. Kill it, I prepare the button, the button, the button, and the hambre, venga hambre. I mean, one demo to kill one villager and the hambre. Seriously? 
I mean, two demos. He could kill all the villains. I love you, Miguel. But what the fuck, man? Okay, villains in in on the TC. You kill the skirmishers. I know it's not TC because there was a tree. There was only a small area. But anyway, guys, economy thought is good for Miguel. Huh? His economy is about to go up to Imperial Amigo. So, he got some more galleys here. Village is the same. The castle is used fantastic. And now, it's gonna go up to Imperial. He need to wait till the, he's doing the castle. But he's doing the university with one village. Please, more than one. Thank you. Um, doing the dock. He's doing more army. But, Bacti. Bacti never got the crazy farming that Miguel has. Well, it's not crazy farming. But, you know, better farming for sure. Yeah, and now he's up to Imperial. So on the way to Imperial, and you are on the way to subscribe. Thank you, forums. Forums. We got a forum. Subscribe to the channel. One, two, four, and three. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Prime, guys. The Prime is an amazing support, just to let you know. So for those people that don't know where to use the Prime, well, you know, this crazy streamer is worthy because has been streaming for how many days in a row? Quite a while, guys. Quite a, quite a while. The galleys are coming. What? Look at this shit. Bacti didn't have the economy to go up to Imperial, man. And he just sell his soul and he's up to Imperial as well? How the hell, man? The market is just frustrating. And now he's gonna wall. <laughs> I, 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 I got in this shit. Okay. It's now spamming organ guns, ballistic. Okay, dokey. Going with more galleys. Obviously, the timing is a still benefit. Mr. Miguel, that he should try to kill that castle. And we will see. Obviously, Portuguese is a dangerous civilization for the late game. But you can also add Fightorias, Bomber Cannons, but the Lombos, come on, Lombos 12 range. Come on, man. Crazy. Hamfurken. Thank you for the Prime, Hans Huergen. You know, it's difficult for me, but that's your name, right? Thank you so much. That's your nickname, at least. Taking this. Feliz on goal. And remember that tomorrow, Return of the Clans is back, okay? D-W-L. Yeah, it is. Okay. He's doing a castle at home. 20 seconds. It's only two organ guns. This is a little bit of a panic mode. Well, he see more organ guns. Okay. Still have the galleys. Population is almost the same. This is by far the closer game. And we see the organ guns as well. Chemistry is a must. Chemistry is a must for Bacti. Is he doing chemistry or not? I don't know. More Lobos. King of the Ooh. Desert 5 win. We want King of the Desert 5, right? Yes, we do want King of the Desert 5. I do want as well. <laughs> King of the Desert 4 was three months ago, man. Three months ago, no more. Cryptic Commando. Thank you, man. Mem love. Let's go with the Mem Strike. Let's go with the hype. With the hype train. Vamos. Okay, this is a lot of Galleons. He's now doing. One trebuchet and another one. Chemistry is there. Do you need the bomber cannons? Both with galleons. We're gonna have battle now on both on water and on land because everything is needed. But the water is so important because the middle is here with the gold. And now more and more villages. There's a relic here that he's not taking. And it's really his opponent gonna take it. Yeah, man. Look how he's gonna see how it disappear. This is so bad, man. Yeah, take the relics, man. Why the pro players don't take the relics? In many situations, this happens. What? Oh, Bomber Cannon. Yeah, he's too trebuchet with Dolly. He maybe can't take it, but... Need to repair that castle. It's going. It's really going. 
And this is more galleons here. Military, navy, almost the same, right? 16, 14. A little bit better for Bacti. With no ballistic, guys. Bacti didn't make ballistic. That's very bad. Really, really bad. You know? Really bad. The traps are just there being annoying. <clears throat> because ballistic helped the castles to, well, no stone. And, and Bacti is, is losing the game. And this is important for the league, you know. When we finish those series, you can check then the command and check in the website, and you can see how the league is looking before getting spoiled. But uh, all the games matters, man. And Miguel is gonna now and take the trap or not? Go to the older then. If he's getting repair, just go to the older. But he's not going because now the Lombos are doing the job and the bomber cannons are in the hell right now. Mm. Well, but the galleys belong to Bacti, so he has to be careful. Good thing is that the traps can kill the galleys as well. But, oh, aye, aye, aye. Yeah. Sending a demo. Who is this? A gift. Let's go, baby. Thank you so much. It's still going. I know, guys. In the games today, we got too much water. I think we got Arena, Acropolis, we got Arabia. We got a mixed one, you know, but sadly too many galleys. But makes sense. Like, what? What he, what he did? What was that demo? Oh my goodness. My goodness. I don't know what was that. Okay. You have to move to the goal. Okay. Well, more galleys and more galleys are coming. And now Miguel seems to be in a very solid position. He has safe economy. He got pretty much better economy all the time. Now he has more galleys as well. And he's about to get the, the, the middle control. The score difference is insane. And you can see how the things change when you have a solid economy going. You know, you can spam everything. Look at now the ship ride as well. And here with traps, I will do even towers. Well, a castle here is perfect. Actually, 700 stone. Castle here. Please, do it. <laughs> Guys, please. Can you spam, please? Look at the castle. I mean, he could do here. He could do here. He could do here. No, here. Because it's perfect spot. Come on, relics, gold, everything is there. And now, with the galleys, I promise, I didn't watch this before, okay? <laughs> Look at the castle. Mr. Planner, how you doing, amigo? Well, the, the, what I like is the timing, you know? That people is gonna think, man, this is a cheater, this caster. But no, it's not. And no army, no navy, guys. The game is over. Bacti is unable to do anything right now. Oh my god, I didn't see this. He also sent Lombos. This is amazing. You raid and then he cannot take anything. Nice. The caster is gonna be there. And he's now with full control. Full control. Miguel did the job. And this goal... That's the problem. Now Bacti got zero resources. He cannot take this goal either. He loses the water control. You cannot take the goal. For that reason, the map generation is also very important. Fightorious! How many? Only one? That is shit. Do you need more? Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> what you meant to be life is good. Oh my goodness, Mr. Planner. GG. Well, Miguel did the domination. Miguel did the domination. And Discord is still broken? No! Discord is back now. Nice! Amazing! Discord is back in time. And what it means that we're going to cast now a, a series that should be insane. I'm going to go for the statistics. Military. Look at this. Economy. Well, brutality. And... Back to one, only to one. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Thumb up on YouTube.